Sound is good, nice. Yeah, then let's just go. It's six anyway, so perfect. Uh, so welcome everybody. <laughs> Haven't heard of the second person yet in my new mod. Uh, solid, thanks for the help with the audio check. I'm your strategy wolf and uh, most of you guys... Music a bit louder. But voice is louder. Okay, maybe I can turn this down. Uh, music maybe a bit loud, okay. Going down with the story. Got lost already in my moderation anyways. Um, you guys probably gonna see this on YouTube. Uh, most of you, I hope maybe some people will join in. However, I'm just like hyped and let's get going soon because we're here we're back with Wolfenstein, our little settlement in um, Franconia apparently. And I haven't touched the game nor looked at it in since the last 12 days ago we've played last time. Um, as far as I know, there was no patch or anything. There was just uh, this one patch that you could download, but I haven't tried the beta version. So we're still with the same version. And yeah, we're just back last time with... We had brought out our church, our little church, we're in October of the first year. And we had the first family coming to our place. So um, things are getting nice right now. However, we're still uh, lacking a little bit of workforce. Extending our housing at the moment whilst they're yeah, transporting stuff and uh, plowing our first fields over here for some emmer for the next spring or next year basically. Our storage for the first winter looks kind of good, um, especially in terms of food, so we just have to keep on chopping um, fuel. And yeah, in the end that's basically what we have to have a look at right now. Um, in the end we need more... 10 um, level 1 borage plots we can have a look and try to expand some of the houses but I don't want to um, get too greedy too quickly since I'd rather get a quick um, higher approval rate so we've got a little bit more migration incoming um, yeah so let's see and just get going with this beautiful game I mean it seems, it seems to have gotten and it's still getting a lot of attention so um, yeah rightfully I guess And I've heard already that there's also the first mods out. So actually, if, guys, if you have any great ideas or additions, what I could do in terms of mods, if you think there is something... Uh, food stall... Wait, what? Where is that? Ah, because we kind of removed the market or something last time, right? Yeah, they're taking it to the storage, but are they? Oh, we need, to we need somebody to work in here. Damn it. So yeah, if you have any great mods in mind or something like this, um, I'm absolutely happy if you uh, leave a, um, in the comments, leave me some, uh, your ideas and so forth, um, so we can absolutely experiment with that. Um, yep. Or any, of course, any kind of uh, feedback or uh, ideas how we should continue with Wolfenstein. Any. Specialized so far. Yeah, let's get an overview again last time. We actually started over here So we wasted a bit of time actually moving the uh, core of the settlement in this area, but it's just up the hill so um, basically our little church is more or less on top of the hill and We tr uh, we went for the uh, fertility since we have a high emmer fertility in this uh, basically the entire area We can we're trying to grow some flux over here. So um, Great stuff Barley, I haven't really grown barley actually in the entire game yet, so uh, I don't know for what we'll need it. Uh, in general, just the fertility made us move here and the positioning. So that's where we are. We moved everything over here, uh, which took us some time, but now I think the city should keep on growing. I had a misclick over here with the first, or uh, yeah, I got this to first out and then this one this one was a little bit disappointing actually since you need wealth and we're not having a lot of wealth so I'm absolutely misread this I had a little bit of a look and since we do have a lot of good farming land I probably would go into this heavy plow fertilization bakery direction but yeah getting all these perks I mean it's not yeah we have to fulfill these tasks basically it's the next one is quite easy but it's getting tough and tougher so at some point we'll be there uh, I guess this hunting and forest branch is something we can... Oh, thanks for the mod list, uh, Solid. Uh, this is something we could... I uh, can We can kind of skip over here. Of course, uh, beekeeping sounds cool. Well, maybe we shall see. <laughs> 
Uh, I guess rather this military or the most blacksmith part might be something we want to do. However, we don't have these huge iron de deposits. So this is in general the, probably the disadvantage of our settlement. Since we do have to kind of start clay or stone extraction over here. This is probably one of the next steps in general. And iron is just available here, but only in very small numbers. So, hmm. And this is really good for agriculture and we have tons of forest, but sooner or later we need to expand. And I'm absolutely, this will, will be complete, entirely new for me because I just claimed one region before, but I have no idea how to properly do it in the end. So this might be getting interesting. And this, there's iron over here, but not that much. Oh, here, but in the middle, this is of course a little bit of a exposed situation. Also, brigands over here, so we'll definitely need some units first. Well, long time in the future outlook. I guess we can speed actually a bit up to see what's going on. And yeah, maybe I'm gonna quickly unassign this storehouse family and bring it here to the granary, or is there? Let's have a look where we're working. One woodcutter. Uh, Tannery is not even working. Logging. Yeah, and the hunters over here, right? Back in the woods. Maybe we can actually unassign the hunters for a bit and make them rather collect the food or transport a little bit more for the, in the next. Um, couple of weeks or so since um, yeah we do have a kind of a good food situation and I can see uh, rather these wild animals recover back there and <laughs> I have my wife sneaking in <laughs> if I have 1,000 subs I'm gonna put her in a in a, in a, in a, in a pond <laughs> in a whirlpool <laughs> just just chatting Um, yeah. So I, I think I can uh, I can happily send them here and collect some of these perishable goods and bring them to the granary first. Yeah, and then I mean those guys they should keep working here with the plowing. Uh, looks like tough work here with this rainy October. I right, can observe our boys down here constructing these houses. I'm not entirely sure how, how huge the, if there's a bigger pull effect for uh, migration, if we have a, if we just need available, um, just available um, living space, or is it basically just the approval? Why, what, why is the approval so low? What do we, do we need? And no supply basically, right? Why is it? Because we don't have enough families that constantly run probably the markets over here. Just have to fire what one, and now the granary should also yeah start building one right. Here we go, but the tannery. Okay, what is exposed stocks getting soaked? Oh god! Oh yeah, the weather sure. How many are there? Oh, there's not so few. Get them. Go get the bread, guys. Uh, good that we put these the family over here in the granary to start working. I guess this was not the dumbest move. Uh, yeah, the tenor. Do we have hides available in our storage? Sorry, guys, I need to get some orientation first. Doesn't look like we have any hides available. We, but we do have a couple of leather in store, so yeah, also for the clothes, we should get something out. In general, clothing is ob obviously a new thing, or also a thing we should take care of, so that's, I guess, why we're doing flux soon. But also, just next year. Yeah, everything takes some time. <laughs> Nasty storms. Yeah, with the mods, I think I'm gonna have a look, a look at the list more intensely. Um, 
but at yeah, first sight there was not too much that I really got excited about, but yeah, we shall see. So yeah, our uh, living space construction continues, definitely. Almost done, right? Just this farmhouse over here and then we... Ah, oh, we built already all the houses. Now this one is still missing. We also have the trading post over here. Let's not forget about this one. Um, but at the moment I'm simply just lacking families. Homelessness? We have homeless people? But oh, it's just like previous. Okay, right. It's getting probably better. Yeah, and I like how... Um, I think I've been talking a bit about this before also in the last stream that I really do enjoy. Maybe you didn't understand it that well since it was so loud. I hope it's getting better now um, also for YouTube. So what I really like is the animations or the how the Ford deforestation looks like, how this works, that you have these tiny little bushes, tiny trees, how the tree, I mean the speed of the tree growth is of course a little bit weird if you think about it, but in the end it comes so naturally and so smooth. And I like how we just chop our way this, this stuff down since we are planning to extend Wolfenstein basically in this kind of shape. Like an egg. <laughs> I don't know. So this, this that the church kind of stays in the center. I guess if we have the manor house, I was thinking about it. And probably on the long term I'm going to move the, the woodcutter's lodge somewhere more to the corner, corner and probably like set up a manor house over here or something like this. Next to the market, next to the wooden church inside of the city. You know, probably the smoothest or nicest looking one. Now since I have a mod, no no weird bots have shown up yet. <laughs> it's just the authorities uh, is just too high now. Yeah, let's see if the f how how quick they are. I, I feel like there's no plowing in December anymore, so basically you guys have to finish this field before, or do we sowing crops as well in autumn? Oh yeah, there's like winter, yeah, crops. I'm not sure if you can if they have to sow it right now, because we could obviously think also about um, going for the flux to send them when they are done to send them over here to do the flux stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, after they finish, we can definitely. Uh, the winter's approaching, yeah. We can stop uh, the um, construction, I guess. I mean, let's let's let them in since they uh, since they're already like here the goods. We can definitely send them uh, finish this one, and then maybe send them to the saw pit or something to keep. Yeah, we have tons of. Oh, they actually can't, can't, can they actually work anymore? Oh, potentially we should send these boys over here since the luggage is, uh, the storage is full. Mm hmm. We have some bottlenecks, and I feel, I feel like the main bottleneck is uh, still the population. So I would be really happy if you see new families coming in. Uh, yeah, this is something I'm. Um, yeah, I don't have the full clue about yet. And since this this is a little seems a little bit random to me, or maybe just impatient, I'm not sure. So, I mean, we're playing speed one right now. But by zooming out and going to the other menus, I always fall back into speed one anyway. So uh, yeah, let's go to at least to four, so we make some more progress. Let's observe how they're building this little house. Okay, so nice. It looks like there's nothing to build at the moment, right? Are you guys getting your uh, log from the place, I guess, or Lawrence? Oh, what is, oh, he's bringing stuff to his place. Why are you not taking an oxen? Maybe I'll assign just to get things a little more started. One family to an oxen or the hitching post for the moment. What we can do is um, 
guess that the working area around here, so this is the flux farm. Yeah, another project we need to get soon, I guess, is the um, tavern. The problem is, if you have the tavern, we need to also uh, get ale. So, I think to get ale, we need to, the brewery and from malt. And how do we get malt? Is there, I, we can't really lock it like in, in, in Paradox games. Where do we get malt from? Solid, do you know? Flux, barley, barley is not malt, right? Grain? Something else than just grain. What do we got here? The generic storage is full of what? Ah, oh, yeah, of the saw pit. Uh, sad that this bug hasn't been fixed already. I mean, bug. Call it a bug or not, I don't know, but you know what I mean. Are you transporting them? It's so highly inefficient with this one spot. And hmm. Where are you guys? Crafted. Yeah, if you're not building anyone, that, uh, anything doesn't make sense actually to have anything at the... Um, hitching post so maybe we should consider getting something just out uh, we don't have to build it but we just can bring let people transport stuff and maybe I guess or why not it could be the, um, the tavern right now um, yeah maybe the manor house I'm not sure here's a little bit the manor house in here tavern in the city center I guess so beer consumption is quite important Right over the church, right, so that people like the, so people can go to uh, to the tavern right after church. I guess this is a good trick to lure them in. Has tried, why not? So people can already start working on it. Yeah, over here, this is something we definitely we can also let's let's start building a little bit of a road back there. Was it like with control, right? I can. Yeah, the, the curviness. Little tiny road. Now this is a little bit maybe too uh, straight, but okay. So and we, I mean, we don't have to build it, and as, but as long as we have one dude at the hitching post, we can set both on low priority. And if they are free, they can already transport some logs over there, so no damage done, I would say. Um, mining pit, all right. Let's then do it like this, right? directly at the street and here we've got our stone cutter camp in planning yeah and potentially i'm not entirely sure about the logistics of the game yet games game yet but i find it maybe a good idea to have also a storage house here uh well, I'm actually not. Probably it's better if this storage is coming to pick this up over there, right? How's our field doing? Oh, yeah, well, we're getting at least, I would say, until the end of November, two-thirds should be plowed. The sowing will start in, in the spring this time. And uh, now they're going. And now they're also taking, ah, uh, the locks are getting taken, so we can bring some people in soon. At some point, of course, we have to... Oh! Oh, nice, we have a new family. At some point, we'll have to think about um, taking them also to 
back to the uh, um, to the hunting. But now we have a construction family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they can help out a bit here in the. Hmm. Where do you, wh where do we want them to help right now? Also, we should consider grading up some re when we have the requirements met at a clothing store. Maybe we should. I think either we have to open the tannery, but we have no heights at the moment. Or we go back, to, or we put another person here in the storehouse, and then they should start selling the leather. Yeah, they will. So for the happiness, and the more happy we are, so we definitely need this at the moment. More families will come more quickly, I assume. Both our oxen lovely here in action. Yeah, there we go. This was pretty quick. The clothing stall is finished. And therefore, some should be excited to move up, right? Yeah, unassigned families to work on tavern. Yeah, bring the bring the wood first, and then we shall see. I'm gonna upgrade the chicken house. Guess they'll just have to wait a bit until the clothing stall is here. Oh yeah, the next new family could be actually also quite useful over here. Saw pit is so inefficient sometimes. Like if people are not doing anything, guys, uh, we, you can sort it in the winter. I'm gonna send them actually over here to just start doing a little bit of this flux um, field preparation. What a lovely little or peaceful November we do have. Quite sunny and like this rainy October. Nice. I guess I don't have to repeat uh, again how, how wonderful, how marvelous, how gorgeous I find this game. It sucks you in, it's really insane. Ten houses for seven families, yeah. I mean, sooner or later we'll have to build the next one. Or upgrade somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, upgrading would be smart at some point, uh, just for, to get some more wealth in, uh, so we can extend also more houses with these uh, backyard thingies. Sometimes the passive income seems to be really attractive. I guess then let's do it with these boys over here. Yeah, next to the church, why not? Or do we have a better candidate? Just try to have the level two houses in the center and yeah, then maybe here if I remember correctly the people will auto upgrade or the, the people living here will upgrade the house and not the working crew so I guess it's fine and yeah here we see our first flux uh, farmer starting to do flux yeah 56% yeah efficiency I feel like this is I don't know I haven't seen so many higher numbers so I guess that here the fertilization might be allows to use a fallow field as a pasture which rapidly restores lost fertility yeah, this is not bad but a pasture for what pasture or pasture I'm not sure actually um, yeah we need to also get of course some point I guess we need to get um, uh, yeah 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 we need to get sheep or something like this where do we find sheep farm yeah but we choose to go with the flux way since I guess flux can be made to linen as well and then we do um, our clothing with these kind of resources instead of sheep yeah, I was a little bit... I, I mean, cows are entirely missing still in the game. I guess they will be there at one point, or maybe... I don't know. 
Or can we can we get cows at some point? Dyer's workshop, okay. Maybe this is also something we have to talk about when uh, we want to produce fancy clothing. We may, might need dyes. Is somebody already on the way to bring up the oxen? Uh, let's let's check out all the street. Oh, this isn't isn't this maybe a little bit steep over here. Oh, <laughs> but it, it is a steep place. Maybe I should have taken this a little bit flatter one, but who cares in the end? Isn't this just marvelous? <laughs> hey man, Sophie Stewart, 81. <laughs> Is Solid still here? Oh. Sophie is just like, um, did you see the first stream or just joining in randomly? Or are you a bot? I never know. I'm not. I'm new to the Twitch game, so. <laughs> By the way, this was a nice animation. I haven't seen people really getting water. Um, yeah, one of the questions I also don't know is, to be honest, if um, the um, how quickly the we had 20 levels, right? Now we've got 11. Um, where is it? The firewood? Okay, yeah, but they're not selling the, the clothing that quickly. Um, since we have nobody working here, I think, I guess we can actually unassign the, the high pitching post since then. I'll have them work both the oxen and the uh, construction, so that's yeah, probably more effective. And in the meantime, we have to keep hoping on the next family to come. Um, maybe we can talk about another house. Okay, manor house, we said maybe over here in this area. So let's, maybe we can just Um, what is the shit like this? Maybe we have to do something. But why actually? No, not entirely happy. Uh, maybe I, st I do the streets later and do it just generic. Generically. This is heavier than it looks. Maybe we can plan another house. Maybe we'll try to. different shapes just for the different perspectives all right Okay, the next construction out so yeah we, they will prioritize this over um, yeah this project back here I mean same we could potentially do with the iron pit actually too yeah but is the, the iron has absolutely no priority no that's that we have to build so many other buildings first before we have the um, iron going on and nice they're doing really well over here I mean, if they don't saw anything, I'm not sure if they, I mean, we have the we should have the advantage that it is already plowed in the spring, so we can start sewing out as soon as uh, spring starts and have 
hopefully a, the best or optimal um, harvest in the summer. And until then, I feel like we sh will be fine with hunting and berries and uh, now in our store and then with more stuff to come. Maybe this will in the end turn out to be a second market or something like this over here One, if we need more space. And we move the cutters lounge, so yeah, lodge somewhere over here, I guess, to chop down these these areas. Potentially, yeah. Okay, um, I think since I cut this down, probably in half an hour episode for YouTube eventually. Um, yeah, as I would say there's <laughs> not so many people have watched. Thank you so much for watching on YouTube. Oh, of course, also here. Uh, let me know that in the comments what's up. And yeah, we continue here for sure. Um, you'll see in the next episode. But yeah, for the next uh, kind of stream, let me know. Um, yeah, now since we fixed the audio problem a bit, uh, maybe you would be happy to join in next time on Twitch. So we should I keep it like this? Or would you prefer just YouTube episodes? rather over than twitch streaming um yeah let me know i'm happy for more feedback and of course if you like manor lord or like want to leave me some ideas for the game itself i'm obviously obviously also happy to read this and everything and uh, react to your ideas suggestions and so forth so thank you very much and of course if you haven't yet it would be fantastic if you leave me a like on uh youtube or in subscription and or here in, in twitch <laughs> whatever you prefer so thanks so much and yeah, see you in the next episode. But here, this is right now.